Hello, hello, welcome back. I am gonna start making some Laotian spicy chili oil and now I have one and one fourth a cup of oil in a small pot and the oil is hot enough. I put a chopstick down and then it begins boiling. Yeah, that's hot enough right there. To give you about a good estimate, I'm just gonna measure this into one cup here and, and see from there how much I need. Maybe it's one cup ratio to the oil, maybe not, but let's see. It's gonna, yeah, boil up. Okay, so it's one cup, maybe and a half. Stir until you smell the chili roasting. Yeah, because the chili has always has already been roasted, so you don't want to burn the chili. You want to have a good smell of the chili roast. Oh, <coughs> that's a good smell right there. Yeah, that's a sign of a of a cooked chili chili oil. Oh, smells good. Now just wait it, just wait for it to like cool down a bit, and then I'll put the uh, fried garlic in there to have better aroma of the chili oil and that's it I don't add any salt or any other spices but that's up to you you know if you you want to add more ump into your chili oil but this is how I make my chili oil for my um, noodle soup for pho and for you know um, chow mein if I want to add in there so a close up of it look at that mm. now I'm gonna add about just one third cup of fried garlic in there. Oh, it smells good. That's it. I'm gonna put it in the jar. So this makes two 13 ounces each jar, and that's 370 grams of a jar of chili oil. That could last you, it depends. If you eat a lot of noodles and if you like spicy, then you just have to make it within two, three weeks. So this would last me about a month or so. Okay, this is my third attempt of making Chinese donuts. So let's see how it will turn out. And I will leave it to the experts, really. I don't make it enough. I, I mean, I don't eat enough to want to make it again. So I'll just continue to fry this. my favorite favorite noodle soup it's rice noodle soups gluten-free and we eat this a lot growing up and it's a vietnamese influence kind of soup you know but we make it into our own we add more herbs we add more stuff and spices in it and seasoning so we make it our laotian way just like pho we have our own style but this is rice noodle soup it's a thick homemade hand cut rice noodles and now it's like, oh, let's ladle it up. Now it's time to load up on the work, starting with the pork meat. And this is just the beginning, guys. And into the herbs. Oh, this is like herb heaven for me. And this is sawtooth herb that I love. It's one of my favorites and I eat it a lot. And it's like a salad to me in a soup. 
and there's some sliced some coriander and sliced uh, spring onions so oh it's it's heaven in a bowl and um, I have to have my bean sprouts in kalpiak the rice noodle soup and it's I'm not sure how this is gonna taste but I'm gonna try it I'm gonna cut it up like how I used to do it back in Laos you know and um, let it soak in with um, the broth and um, it's carb on carbs so let's see it's yeah so now for the chili oil oh this is like the best this is in no particular order I mean I'm just you know showing you how it's done and um, so lots of chili oil for me at least and um, I'm already getting hungry <laughs> so let's see what I need to do next I think I just need to stir and um, eat oh wait I forgot lime oh my gosh lime juice yes lime juice there's probably some things I forget you know um, lime juice and then what else let me see hmm okay let me stir okay let me show you <gasps> this is my bowl yeah showing you the spread again the pork meat and the donuts that was a flop I know I don't need to mention again right and um, yeah fish sauce and the herbs and lime oh and I forgot the fried garlic of course oh what I miss and I'm missing black pepper I didn't even put that on anyways